Confusion, chaos and shock. For the second week in a row, worshippers were targeted during Friday prayers. The latest blast tore through this Shia mosque without warning, killing dozens. This time the strike was coordinated with at least two suicide bombers and again claimed by the Afghan affiliate of the Islamic State group, ISK. The injured were rushed to local Kandahar hospitals where families could watch over their loved ones. Many left fighting for their lives. He's my youngest son. I saw him in that state and I didn't know what to do. He was just covered with blood. Besides the shock and grief, there is growing anger. We urgently call on the Taliban government to safeguard our people's lives. This incident didn't just happen in a market to these poor people, they were targeted while they were praying. Taliban officials inspected the aftermath and condemned the attack. With Kandahar known as a Taliban stronghold, it also exposes the regime's security challenges. After the explosion, when people had fled, we came in and saw the mosque was full of people who'd been killed and wounded. Another week, another grim clean-up begins. And no certainty on when the cycle will end. Jenny Lavelle, ABC News.